morning boys and girls it's miss angela with day 35 of our drawing at home now today a little girl asked me if we could draw a flamingo so i thought maybe today we what there's a flamingo in the house well we are going to draw him today we are going to draw freddie flamingo so go ahead and get your pencils your paper your colored pencils your chalk your whatever you draw with and uh-oh, we're going to be interrupted a lot today, I have a feeling. Freddie, out of the way. So we are going to draw our flamingo. So get your markers or get your pencils ready and let's start. All right, the first thing we're going to do is draw the flamingo's head. Now it is like an egg shape. So we're going to draw kind of like a little egg shape. <laughs> He's trying crazy, keeps sneaking in. So we've got a little egg shape here. And then we're going to do a big neck is going to connect it and we're going to go right down pretend like it's a snake and make a big swirly line just like that and then we're going to go in and make another one just like this so you see how it looks kind of like a backwards s but it's got the big egg on the front now we're going to make the back of our flamingo his body and we're going to make ours go kind of hump up and then come right down and we'll make it kind of crooked here so we can have some feathers. And then we're gonna make a little bump at the bottom. Can you do that? Remember, if I go too fast, you stop the video and catch up and then do it again. Okay. Can you see him down here? He's peeking in the bottom. He is trouble. So now let's go ahead and do his around his face. Now the flamingo has, you're gonna go up and do like a little tiny loop into that. And then we're gonna go right down and make a long beak. Flamingos aren't really easy to draw, but they're kind of neat looking when you're all done. And then let's draw a line across here for the bottom of his nose. And then we'll put an eye right in there. So now we've got almost our whole flamingo. Now the one thing that makes a flamingo stand out from other birds is he's got really, really long legs. So let's go ahead and put a really long leg in here. And then we're going to give them a second leg and we're going to go, we're have, going to have this one bend. So where they bend, there is like a little round ball, almost like his knee. So we're going to move, we're going to draw that and then put the other leg right down like that. Now we don't have to do his feet today because we're going to put him in a pond. So we are going to draw circles. Like when somebody, when you throw a rock in a pond, it makes ripples. Well, his little feet are making ripples in the water. So that's what we're going to do here. All right, and now let's go ahead and put the land or the top of the water right there. Now, just because there's a lot of room up here, we're gonna draw a little dragonfly and we're gonna draw a little circle and then with two little bumps, just like that, that's gonna be a little dragonfly. And then we'll give them a big wing on the top and a little one and another big wing and a little one right there. Oh, can you see? Freddie, get out of the way now okay we are going to draw because he's standing in a pond and usually they're down in florida or you know any place warm i shouldn't say only in florida we're going to draw some greenery that kind of grows near water and we'll do another one over here all right now the last thing we have to do is we're going to color them in now freddie you might as well come up here and show us what color you are Freddie is bright pink. So we're gonna draw bright pink. Now I have my pastels. You could have crayons or markers or anything in this color, but we're gonna go ahead and draw him bright pink. And we're gonna go down. See how much faster these are to use pastels for me? All right, we've got it. And then, then we're gonna do his little legs are gonna be in pink too. Now, if you look at Freddie's face, he has white around his eyes, right like this, and then he's got black on the end. So I'm gonna get my marker back out and I'm gonna draw in black right there. Now that is the shape of the flamingo. Now you can add all the extras that we put in. We could put some water in here. We'll put in some dark blue maybe for the water. We'll get make sure we get all the different spots. And then maybe some light blue for the sky. So I have kind of a different, it looks almost the same, I know. But I put some lighter blue up in the sky. 
lot of coloring going on here. And then we'll do some green for these. They're getting very colorful. What do you think? Do you like this? Oh, he does. And this one over here. And then let's do our little dragonfly in a light green with yellow wings. What do you think? I think it looks pretty neat. Now, boys and girls, this one's a little harder, so you gotta take your time with this. Just because there aren't regular shapes when I say draw a circle, draw a square, draw a triangle, this is kind of more of a flowing, like you've gotta draw squiggly lines and all kinds of stuff. So take it slow, see how you do it. I wanna see your pictures of when you draw the flamingo. Remember, I'm gonna tell you like I tell you every day, be safe, wash your hands, listen to your parents, be creative, and be kind to each other. And then I will see you tomorrow for another day with Art with Angela. <gasps> Goodbye, Freddie. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye-bye.